What's up guys, it's Alfred and I am back with another video. So for today's video guys, I am going to be creating a burgundy unit, but it's not gonna be like my regular studio setup. It's gonna be vlog setup. Why am I moving around in this nasty ass lighting? Can't even see me. But like I said, I'm gonna be doing a wig tutorial today, but it's not gonna be like any other wig tutorial. It's gonna be like a vlog style setup. I'm gonna be really, it's gonna be really chill. It's not gonna be too professional. It's still gonna be informative and everything like that. Y'all will still enjoy it. Y'all will still be seeing everything I'm doing, but I just don't got time for the lights and all the extra shit because guess what? Guess what, y'all? A bitch is fucking moving. This a bitch got approved for his apartment. Me and Tommy got approved for our apartment, and bitch, we are about to be LA bitches. Like, period. I don't live in Chicago anymore. I'm sorry. Where do you reside? <laughs> Los Angeles, California. <laughs> what the fuck is this calling me? Speaking of the devil, look who it is. Look who it is. I'm vlogging right now. Say hey. Say hey. But yeah, y'all, so we finally got approved for our apartment. So now I have like two weeks left in Chicago, like literally like two weeks left in Chicago, y'all. Like I went down there this past week. I went to LA to go apartment shopping. Y'all will see that in my, well, y'all actually won't see it, but I talked about it in my other hair tutorial, in my purple hair tutorial that will be coming soon. Yeah, we went down there to go apartment shopping and we found our place and we applied and we submitted the deposit and everything like that before we left and we got approved yesterday. So I have to move in by August 8th. So that's in like two weeks, in like two to three weeks. And I have money to make because I got rent to make. <laughs> so I'm about to be busting out these hair tutorials left and right because I have to make my shmoney. Just know I have LA rent to pay now. So I have to, you know, bust out the content and bust out the um the sponsorship so I can get paid and pay my rent. This is my job. So y'all y'all know that already. But I'm gonna try to make all my sponsored content coming up very fun and interactive and just, you know, enjoyable. I'm not gonna sit down in my studio and just make like the regular videos. Not for right now. I really wanted to make it enjoyable for you all. So with that being said, like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, for today's video, I'm gonna be transforming this wig into like a burgundy unit. It's gonna be all burgundy. I want it to look like I am Rihanna, bitch. I want it to look like I am Ariel from The Little Mermaid. I want it to be sickening. So this unit I got sent to me is by Wiggins Hair. This is a 24 inch body wave, 13 by 6 lace front unit. As you all can see, the lace goes pretty far back. It's a 13 by 6. Y'all already know I love a 13 by 6 lace. I don't like that 13 by 4 shit. But sometimes you gotta go with a 13 by 4 because not everybody has 13 by 6 yet. So I really do like that wig over there. I would recommend getting that wig if you are looking for a quick little 13 by 6 wig. But I'm going to transform it and I'm about to start bleaching it right now. So let's go do that.
right, so now I am done bleaching the knots on this one. This is going to be the burgundy one. And this is a bob wig that I'm doing sometime next week for another video. So I just might as well just bleach all of my knots right now and get it out the fucking way, bitch. So I'm just going to, it's been on for like 20 minutes. I'm just going to keep it on for another like 15 minutes just because I want the knots to be as bleached as possible. I just wanted my knots to be bleached so that my knots will not be red. I don't want like little red dots. So that's why I bleached them first. And I'm going to put Vaseline over them to protect them before I dye them red. All right. So I just washed the bleach out and the knots are bleached. As you all can see, you don't see the little black dots anymore. So my job is done, bitch. My job is just done. So now I'm about to put it on my wig head and I'm going to start um, dyeing it burgundy. I got the L'Oreal high color. Let me show you all which burgundy I got. I usually use this color when I'm dyeing like natural hair. So hopefully it takes the same and it doesn't do the funky ass shit because I don't have time for that. <laughs> I really don't like bitch. I don't have time nor the money. But about three, I'm probably gonna end up using like one or two or like one and a half or something like that. But I bought the L'Oreal High Color in Magenta and I've used this before so I know it works. I know the other ones. The other ones, I don't know. They be working sometimes, they don't work sometimes. I know this one works all the time and it always, you know, lifts the hair to like a reddish or a burgundy or like a, you know, magenta color. So I'm just going to use these and hope for the best. Like I really do like this wig. This is similar to... I'm gonna just let y'all know. I'm gonna just give y'all a sneak peek. It's similar to wigs that I'm testing out from vendors right now for a little special project coming soon. It's similar to the wigs that I'm testing out right now. So that's why I'm like, hmm, y'all snap. This wig is it. Like, bitch, this wig is it for real. Like, but yeah, I'm working on a little special project coming very, very, very soon. So be on the lookout for that. I will definitely let you all know when I drop something or when I, you know, release anything. So y'all will be the first ones to know. Trust and believe that. But yeah, now I have to dye the hair on the stand. So let me go ahead and set that up real quick. I really don't feel like standing up and dyeing no hair. Like, bitch, I really don't. Thing right here, y'all, this is what I would normally use. And I would just put it on my desk like this and then twist it and then it would stay up. But... As y'all can see, I was mad one day and I literally smacked the fuck out of my dome head and bitch, I broke it. So I have to use this. This makeshift ass tripod, y'all. I'm about to do what I do, cause that's what I gotta do. Do what I do, cause that's what I gotta do. Do what I do, cause that's what I gotta do. Do what I do. Cause so now before I do that, let me go ahead and put this on there so I can protect my canvas head. I'm gonna protect the lace because I still want my knots to be brown so they could blend into my skin. So to do that, y'all, I'm just gonna take my Vaseline, my handy dandy Vaseline. Y'all already know what this bitch does. She protects the lace, she protects the knots. I'm gonna take a dollop like that and I'm gonna start spreading it like butter, bitch. I'm just gonna go in here and pin the shit down so it will not move while I'm dying it. Oh my god, I can't wait to move, y'all. Oh my god, I'm gonna have central air. Oh my god, I can't wait to have central air, y'all. This house is literally old as dirt. It's literally two times older than me. So, you know it ain't no central air in this bitch. And I got this little ass air conditioner on. You see that little air conditioner over there? I'm gonna sweat the wig off before I even put it on, y'all. Oh my god. Now I'm just putting the high color in the thing. It's supposed to, it's always this fucking thick and I hate that it's this thick, but I mean, it gets the job done, but damn, like shit. Uh, oh, I seen Lion King last night and that was honestly like my first time ever seeing Lion King. Like low key, because when I first saw it, I don't really remember The Lion King the first time I saw it, if I even saw it before. But it's shorter than I expected. Like, the plot was just very, very, very 
I mean, it's a children's movie, so it can't be that complex. Everything was just too fast. You know, maybe it was because I was high. I don't really know. Maybe that's why, because I was high and everything just probably just went like really faster than usual. The movie was beautiful, like bitch, I was crying. Bitch, Beyonce, I'ma just need her not to like voice act anymore because every time Nyla started speaking, bitch, I just kept seeing Beyonce and I kept picturing Beyonce. So it was just throwing me off a little bit. I just, I don't think she should voice act anymore because her voice is so, it's so Beyonce. You know what I mean? Like nobody else has a Beyonce voice. So once you hear her voice, you automatically think, oh bitch, that's Beyonce. She could do anything she fucking wants and I'm still gonna watch it. And I'm still gonna spend my money on it. But I don't know. I don't understand what I'm saying though. Like her voice is just too Beyonce to be trying to play a fucking lion. y'all so I literally did what the fuck I said I didn't want to do was run out of fucking die I'll be jinxing myself like low-key but I literally had to split them open and like use the inside of the dyes to literally coat the rest of the hair because I was not about to go back to the store and buy another one okay so now I'm done dyeing the hair y'all I am praying to God that this shit all comes out even because I've been scraping dye out of the actual like container thing so I pray that it comes out even, bitch, because I don't have time to re-dye the shit and then it's two-toned and like, I just want burgundy hair. So Jesus, please let that happen. <laughs> let me do my makeup and then I'll be right back when it's washed and ready to go. All right, y'all, so it's been like an hour, I want to say, and I think we're good to go. This is like a cute color, a cute burgundy. I left the whole bag in my hot ass attic so I know this shit has processed and this is probably as good as it's gonna get. Uh, I wish this top was darker or, you know, more burgundy, but this is where I ran out of the color at. So, you know what? Whatever. I just gotta deal with it. Fuck. Like, look at this down here. Red, bitch. Red. This up here, dark. But whatever, we'll see. All right guys, so I am back. The wig is now all dried and stuff and this is how it's looking. Pretty burgundy, not really reddish, but it's like a burgundy. And it's fucking, I forgot to wash all of the Vaseline out of it, so it's like a little greasy. Now I'm just customizing the front two and stuff like that. I customized this side, I barely plucked it, like barely. And as you can see, it already looks like okay.
Okay, so now I'm taking the olive oil jelly. And if y'all hear that fan in the background, don't mind it. Bitch, it's too hot for me not to have a fan on right now. I apologize. I am done basically so basically this is the install y'all I was gonna do my makeup but I don't think I'm gonna do it I might just do some regular foundation and then just call it a day after that and then take pictures and then take the wig off <laughs> literally I low-key don't want to take this wig off like at all okay like this wig is fine as hell but I don't feel like sleeping in a wig tonight honestly so I might just take it off and then just put it back on when I want to when it's ready because this is so cute like okay the sun's behind a cloud right now but isn't this so cute and so over here she is kind of lifting up and I didn't really focus on her because I don't have time to because the sun is going down as you can see this is the end of the video guys this is the completed hair look I hope you all enjoyed it and I really do hope you all enjoy this type of you know style video too along with the studio style because I am going to start doing this more often when I just don't feel like you know doing a studio as professional as video so I hope you all like this because be expecting them more often, bitch. But if you all don't already, please do not forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. They are both Alpha Lewis the Third. Love you all so 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 fucking much, bitch. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, bitch.